Let's get to chop it or drop it here. First up, Kenny Atkinson, the former Nets head coach, who told the Hornets he will remain the Warriors' wow. top assistant coach rather than become Charlotte's next <laughs> head coach. Atkinson and the Hornets had agreed in principle to a four-year deal that he had never signed. So, Perk, you want to oh. chop it or drop it? Oh, we got to chop it up about this. Look, it's it. We don't re we rarely see a guy turn down an assistant coach turn down a head coaching opportunity to stay with yet as an assistant. You know what this speaks volumes to me of of Steve Kerr and the way that he carries himself as a head coach and the roles that he let his assistant coaches play. He let them have a voice in the locker room and he's open to suggestions. That's what it seems like to me on the outside looking in. Also, it speaks on the culture of the Warriors, right? Like, Kenny Atkinson just got there this year, and all of a sudden he turned down the head coaching job to stay on the to stay as an assistant. That means that the vibe is good, the energy is great, it's a great place to be around, and you could just got to credit the ownership, the front office, the coaching staff, and the players for, you know, making that environment the way that it is. I agree with you, Perk. Uh, I mean, we don't really know the numbers, but I'm, I'm guessing it had to be somewhere near 20 million at least uh, on the low end. Four years, five million at mm -hmm. least on the low end to stay in Golden State when you have a chance to go to Charlotte with a, a crop of young, up and coming, particularly in Lamelo superstars. Um, maybe Kenny knows something we don't know. You know, maybe mm -hmm. Steve has, you know, maybe Steve has another two or three years in him, and Kenny would be the perfect man to slide in and replace him. You know, Mike Brown paid his time and, and maybe possibly thought the same thing, but I think after, you know, this team was able to turn it around and understand their window is maybe another two or three years, maybe that'll be the end of Steve Kerr's run, and maybe Kenny wants to slide into this situation for every reason you said, Perk, because I've played there. It starts at the top with owner and management, and there's not, an, uh, not another organization in the entire league that runs their team and, the, and their organization like the Golden State Warriors do. I definitely want to chop up about this because this is an intriguing situation. You talked about four years, at least $20 million to run your own show, to be a head coach, to have LaMelo Ball on your squad, and you turn that down. I think a championship speaks volumes. The way in which they won this championship, right? You know, strength in numbers. Clay talked about the tweet that a Memphis Grizzlies player sent out, but I think the way they won this championship through adversity, having to lean on Steph, obviously, with the development of young players such as Jordan Poole and some of the other younger guys was, was probably something that he enjoyed being around that process and understanding that Steve Kerr has said it many times, you know, he's very st thankful for Steph Curry, right, and all he's done for him. And they asked him how many more rings he was going to win, and he said, how much longer is Steph Curry going to play? I think he coaches until Steph Curry's done, and then they have a passing of the torch, if you will. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.